It's been, uh, three years of Smash Ultimate, and I have never made a video about a character reveal. I felt like this one was important, and I wanted to talk about it, because more than anything, I feel like I want to explain why Sora is the perfect Final Smash character. I told you! What did I freaking say? What did I say? I told you! No way! They actually did it! Oh my god! Yes! It makes so much sense. And if you can't see how it makes sense, there's something broken in your brain. Now, this is coming from someone who, while I enjoy Kingdom Hearts, I've only played one and two, and I didn't really like three. And leading up to this announcement, when people would ask me who I thought it would be, uh, both on my podcast, on Arlo's podcast, and just in Twitch streams, my answer was always Sora. This is the final one, right? Something final, something that really resembles Smash. And Sora does make a lot of sense with that. There are so many reasons why it made sense. It was very clearly the most requested character, and in some ways, majority just rules. Sakurai himself said in the event that that form that they ran like six years ago to see what character we all wanted in Smash, Sora was number one. But it's deeper than that, much deeper. The final character for Smash had to be something big, but it also had to be a character that represented Smash. When you think about what Smash truly is, it is the ultimate game. They have brought together so many other games, something like over 450 total, but in the Smash characters alone, so many franchises have been brought together in a way that celebrates gaming. That's really what Smash ultimate especially has always been about just a giant celebration of all things gaming so the final character had to be something in my opinion that represented what smash is and what other character can you think of that comes from a series and franchise of games that has literally represented the same thing for just as many years as Smash has, other than Kingdom Hearts. That is, at its core, what Kingdom Hearts is about, bringing together all these Disney franchises into one big celebration of Disney. The character of Sora represents to his world what Mario represents to the world of Smash, which is why we have that final moment in the trailer of Mario shaking hands with Sora. I honestly can't think of a character that is better to end on than the most requested character, a character that represents the essence of Smash in his own games, and finally, a character that is literally the name of Sakurai's company, Sora. It honestly feels like everything has been building up to Sora being the final Smash character, and it couldn't be more perfect. And maybe it's not your absolute favorite, but there's 88 other characters. I feel like now, more than ever, is not the time to complain or moan or be upset that you didn't get your final character. I saw people complaining that, oh, it's another sword character. Like now, now, no matter what, it's just not the time. Sakurai has put his blood, sweat, and tears into Ultimate Alone, let alone the history of Smash, but into Ultimate Alone, giving you 88 other characters to enjoy. There is truly a character for everyone. If there isn't a character in Smash that you connect with that you love at this point, th then you might want to take a step back and consider if you actually do love games as a whole, or if you're just a really big fan of a game. <laughs> like You're just really in the Dark Souls for some reason and nothing else, which I don't know why you're even looking at Smash at that point. You've had a character for you. Probably in the DLC characters alone, there has to be one that you've enjoyed. You can't love every single character. Sometimes you need to take a step back and realize that these characters aren't just 
for you individually, but Sora, more than any other character, was given because of so many of you and us wanting it that bad. Another thing to consider that makes Sora perfect is Smash is big in Japan. It's huge in Japan, just as it is over here on the West. But we've both always kind of wanted different characters. I mean, Banjo and Kazooie is a character that we over here on the West really wanted. I don't think Japan really cared too much on that one. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was a West request. But Japan really wanted characters like Hero, and Hero from Dragon Quest was massive. It was one of the biggest, if not the biggest, Smash reveals in Japan. Whereas here, I mean, I was excited, but I don't think many people were. But Sora manages to ride that line of the West loves Kingdom Hearts, Japan loves Kingdom Hearts. Everyone can be happy with this final character, or at least the most amount of people possible from all regions can be really excited about Sora. Any other character would just be very specific to you, or probably even a region. I mean, think about Master Chief. People really wanted Master Chief, and would it have been cool? Yes. But you know where Master Chief is big? Here in the West. I mean, Microsoft, it's not even present in Japan. That would have been the most anticlimactic, lame release, I imagine, for Japan. When, when I went there, I didn't even see an Xbox game in any of the stores that I went to. It's just not a thing over there. In some regard, what I'm trying to say is stop being greedy and just be happy for Sakurai and the other fans that are happy with this release. I, I gotta say, I've watched pretty much all of these little Smash Directs with Sakurai, but I've never seen him so giddy and excited, and you could tell the buzz around him, his crew were laughing at all of his jokes. I mean, Sakurai was throwing in a one-liner in between everything he was saying. He had a big smile on his face. He just looked like he was having a great time. It's probably a, a, a wave of relief, a weight off his shoulders to be done with this game as much as he had fun making it. And it is the one of the greatest things anyone's ever created in gaming. But obviously his piece de resistance, as much as he loves all of that, it must be a huge wave of relief to be able to move on and maybe look at new projects. I mean, I another reason why I wanted to make this video is to say thank you to him for everything my voice broke there because I did get really emotional watching this not so much because of Sora even though it did hit me a bit but because I grew up with Smash I I have such vivid memories of going to Video Easy in Morphet Vale in South Australia renting my 64 games but renting Smash Brothers I would go and I would rent that game we take it home I would unlock all the characters. You know, my week of having it would run up. My mom would call the store and be like, look, he's he's going to keep it another week. And we would push that as long as we could. I don't, I don't know why we never just bought the game at some point, but we kept pushing it and pushing it until we had to return it. They only had one copy, so everyone else was waiting for me to be done with it. When we returned it, I would go into the store all the time to see when it was re-returned so I could rent it again. I've always loved Smash, and it's always been such a big part of my life, and Ultimate has just been incredible, right? The last three years, and getting these new characters added in all the time, it, it's been the most exciting part about Directs. I feel like a big re like half the reason most people tune in to a Nintendo Direct is a, a hope that they'll add a new Smash character, that there'll be some new reveal. I wouldn't be surprised if the views on Directs moving forward take a huge hit because there's no Smash reveal. It was the most exciting part. I mean, thank you, Sakurai. I, have, I don't really know what else to say. I'm excited for whatever he does next and I'll be there for it. I think this is the last Smash we'll get. I mean, we could play this one for the rest of our lives. It's perfect. He's really created a perfect fighter. One of the craziest things, though, is out of nowhere, Sakurai got to reveal the Kingdom Hearts games were coming to Switch. Although, to be fair, it couldn't there couldn't have been a better place for it. I just didn't expect it to happen. So it's it's Kingdom Hearts, it's the HD remakes or remasters or whatever, but they are all 
cloud streaming. That's a little frustrating. I, I assumed it would be just three would be cloud streaming and then one and two would be local, but it's all, the, all, all of them. I reacted to that live and some people in my chat asked like, what's the problem with that, Wood? If you haven't tried cloud streaming on Switch, there's only, there's only a few games that do it. Playing it portable, the, it doesn't look great. I mean, you're streaming the game, right? So the quality can like dip up and down. Sometimes it can be a little blurry and it hurts my eyes, but more than anything, it's the input lag. Sometimes you'll like try looking right and then you'll stop, but the camera will keep going because of the lag. You'll try pressing a button. There might be like a half second delay before it does something. And when you're playing like a hack and slash style game or an action game like Kingdom Hearts, you kind of want everything to be tight and responsive and you don't want it to have a little bit of delay that said, we do have the new OLED now that comes with the dock with the Ethernet port. So I'm going to be trying that. I'm going to be Etherneting up, playing Kingdom Hearts 1 docked with an Ethernet to see if it smooths over those issues and it can actually make cloud gaming on Switch viable. It just sucks because the first thing I want to do with a, I want to sit down on a couch and I want to play it portably. Like that's what I find cool. And I don't think that's going to be an option for me personally. But we'll, we'll see. It's still really exciting that they're coming to Switch, though. Yeah, I just wanted to give some thoughts and rationalize the reveal to people that maybe don't get it and just see a character they're not familiar with and they're upset. Uh, no, this character makes almost too much sense, love it or hate it, for it not to be in the game and for it to be the final reveal. And one final time, thank you, Sakurai, for everything. Uh, thank you guys for everything if you watch the stream or you're watching this. If you live in Philly this weekend, I'm going to be at Too Many Games at the Philadelphia Convention Center. Come say hi. And yeah, I'm super tired, so I'm not going to make this any longer. I love you all. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye-bye.